as you can see all my bags are packed um, they're ready to go I wish I was ready to go um, close my boot um, now just gonna go have one final look at the view Billy thinks it's far too cold to come outside so he's hiding in the doorway and um, say goodbye to the dogs and then set off for the airport it's um, a bit chilly this morning We've got ground frost it's going to be nice to get out of the um, cold English weather um, you can see it's all white all over the garden uh, but over where it's sunny and shiny it's still a perfect view what a lovely morning um, shame we're going to be travelling um, dogs Billy thinks it's too cold but I think he knows I'm going um, the dogs have been very strange this morning and been clinging to my side like glue um, there's the wife waiting to go so I better see you later bye hi currently sat at Heathrow waiting for my bags to arrive I did plan on chatting to you at Leeds Bradford but security took over and they they searched me they searched my bag and thankfully I'm safe and I, I, I was able to fly so it's now the anticipation whether all, all four bags have got down here and then it's off to the Heathrow Marriott to um, check in with all the other guys so I will let you know if all four bags arrive and I will um, speak to you just a little bit later cheers well, we're just in the, um, the baggage area uh, just to give you this sort of scale I don't think everybody's arrived yet but this is sort of like the scale of all the cricket bags and clobber that um, we're taking away with us so it's um, a bit of a bit of carnage around here and, um, but thankfully we're allowed to check in and they're the lovely girls that are going to be checking us in onto the flight so I'm um, just going to get changed and I'll see you later Hi, well we sat in our little lounge waiting to depart the airport um, all checked in in that little room that you saw early which is a lot easier than going through the security at the hotel which is very nice of them Virgin to arrange that for us and I'll just um, take you around and have a look see what everybody's doing there's a lot of people on their mobile phones most probably home wishing their wives um, that they'll see them soon and they're missing them lots and just catching a drink and catching up so I'll just take you on a little little thing around go on, go on swear at me is this something to do with your TV? is that your... yeah yeah is it a phone as well? yeah proper it's a proper little gadget this you like it I know I do there's Meadow Lord she's a ECB and she run, practically runs it people will fall to pieces if it wasn't for this lady here and then there's just a lot of people scoffing their faces and talking on their phone um, there's even Saj Mahmood on the phone looking like a businessman <laughs> Yeah, it's Monty who's, um, I've got to say, one of the worst pool players I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> yeah, Jimmy White, eat your heart out. Walks after the ball, as soon as, soon as he pops it up. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, no pressure, Saj. Don't miss. It is. I'm just... Filming the best, best, best bit of pool I've ever seen. Best bit of pool I've ever seen. This. So it's now nine o'clock. Um, I set off from home um, 12 hours ago. So I've already been travelling for 12 hours, and I've only got to London. So there's only a few more miles to get before we get to Hong Kong, and then another trip before we get to Sydney. So by the time I reach Sydney, I think I'll be um, well and truly tired. So. I'll try and get you on the plane before we leave, if not I'll see you in Hong Kong.